How you doing guys, this is Richie, and today we're going to take a look at 75 years of Marvel from the Golden Age to the Silver Screen, written by Roy Thomas. This is a huge book. I mean, this thing is a beast. It's got to weigh 25 pounds. All right, it's a big book. We're just going to skim through it. When that started at all. Some old covers. He says it was a magazine, I believe. Marvel Science Stories. Uncanny Tales. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. Some Golden Age Sun Baroner. That's a classic cap cover. Marvel Mystery Comics, number nine. Some artwork. Great splash page. Looks like a Jack Kirby, Joe Simon. is kind of hard to find it's well no now the dc one is out of print i believe this is still in print but if you buy it off of amazon be careful because they make a smaller version it's more manageable i don't know if, if anybody would be interested in that or the big one i prefer the big one it's just a little more striking Now we get into the journey into mystery. That's a really cool Marvel Tales comic. Number 95, wow. More Marvel Tales, this is at the end the pre-code. Some more stuff. It's got a lot of uh, pencil and ink work. A lot of cut pictures of covers. It's just, this is, you have to have this if you're a Marvel fan. You get it for about 100 bucks, I think. Maybe 125 Well worth it. Here's a splash page. The Yellow Claw. Some horror stuff. This is a great Bill Everett cover. Get right into the superhero age, Fantastic Four One, of course. Doctor Doom, Fing Fang Foom splash page. The prototype. Well, I don't know if this could be considered a prototype because, if I'm not mistaken, this was released. In the same month that, what was it, Fantastic Four or Five, which is the first appearance of Doctor Doom, was released. If I'm not mistaken, both these comics were released in the same month. Very cool. A lot of Jack Kirby work. First Super Scroll. I would love to get a hold of one of these. A 9-0. 
which is probably still out of my price range, but I think I might be able to make it happen if I could ever find one. It started on Yancey. Great panels, man. Great panels. Into Ditko. How about Daredevil number one? Oh, four. Number four, rather. First purple man that was. The hate monger. I see a few of these online. I've been looking at uh, on eBay. I think there's a 9-0 and a 9-2 on there. Some X-Men. Avengers 4. Just these classic, classic pages and panels. So cool. How about some Busima? Get into the strange tales. Some Submariner. Beautiful Steranko. Original cover art. And that page must be expensive, or that cover must be expensive. Pin up, Doctor Strange. Strange Tales 156. Submarine Man. Okay, this looks like Nick Fury. Possibly one of my top three favorite artists. I seem to have a lot more Ramita covers than most of my other Silver Age work, or books rather. Submariner Splash. So you get cool stuff like this. Just weird, oddball stuff that you normally wouldn't see elsewhere. Romance, which I'm not into. Eternity. They got these cool pages that separate. They're like a foil type. They separate the different ages. It's the dawn of the Bronze Age.
the old 181. Next week I'll show, uh, wow, here you go. That's amazing. Look at that. Great pencil work. Into the copper age. <laughs> That's got to be the coolest John Romita Jr. pinup uh, splash page ever. Really cool. Modern stuff. Machine Man. Barry Smith covers. Jim Starlin. This covers all of them, man. Highly recommend this book. It's heavy and it takes up a lot of space, but if you can, pick it up. It's very nostalgic. It's got everything in it. All the major stuff. John Byrne. Kevich to Jim Lee David Mack new, new, the new guys it covers that's a cool cover alright guys so you get the idea pick it up 75 years of Marvel from the golden age to the silver screen all right, guys. Thanks for watching.